and welcome. In this video, let's model a microstrip in ANSYS HFSS. And microstrips are fundamental to any printed circuit board or chip design. And here's a typical printed circuit board. It's composed of varying shapes of microstrip lines. Let's create a transmission line section in HFSS. Open HFSS and we'll use a driven terminal solution with an auto open region. Let's create the board. Use the box command. Click once anywhere in the modeler window to anchor the box. Drag and click anywhere again to draw the base. And that third click in the perpendicular direction completes the box. The property dialog box appears. So enter in the parameters for the coordinates. A dialog box appears for this first parameter. Set the unit type to length. The default units are shown. Enter 20 millimeters. Click OK. Another dialog box appears for the second parameter. And you can just enter 20 millimeters in the value field. And similarly, enter the value for the third parameter. Define the dimensions. Use the HFSS auto text feature to select the appropriate variable for the X size. Do the same for the Y size and the Z size. Click the Attributes tab and name the box. Click Edit in the Material field and let us select FR4. You have the option to choose a suitable color and adjust the transparency. Click OK and press Ctrl D to fill the view. And so here's our board. Let's create the bottom ground and click the top face and hit the B button to get to the next face behind. And the bottom face is selected. Right click and go to Edit, Surface, and select the option Create Object from Face. And this command creates a sheet from the selected face. And we can customize this in the Properties panel. Let's create the trace with the section command. And select the entire object. Right click and go to Edit, Surface, Section, and use the XZ Center. With this section selected, right click and go to Edit, Surface, Thicken Sheet, and enter a new parameter for the trace width. Let's make this one millimeter. And this is the dummy box. We'll make the top surface to trace. Now let's assign boundary conditions. Multi-select the trace and the bottom ground. So right click and assign a finite conductivity boundary. Set the material to copper. And you can see that the finite conductivity boundary is created. Multi-select the end faces of the dummy box. When using the B command, the desired face must be behind the point where you click, not just behind the initially selected face. And this B key is a shortcut key to easily select the desired face without changing the model view. Again, create an object from face and let's rename them appropriately. Again, multi-select the surfaces and assign them as lumped ports as shown. And this may have seemed like an odd way to create this model. But by deriving most of the objects 
from existing ones, we can intrinsically parameterize the model. We only had to define any given parameter once during the model creation, and then have it automatically cascade through the remainder of the design with commands like create object from face or section. And so when we change the value of any parameter, the entire model tracks with it, as well as the excitations. And this technique efficiently creates a microstrip line of any dimension using a variety of board materials. If you use the auto open region, a solve setup is automatically defined, which can be subsequently edited. But we'll keep the default settings for now, and let's define a frequency sweep. Enter the settings as shown, Analyze to start the simulation. And once the simulation is complete, let's plot the fields. Select the top trace to plot the current as shown. I created a non-model plane to plot the electric fields. Remember I told you in a previous video you need a simulation tool to visualize the fields. Thanks for watching. And please go to our ansys.com forward slash courses to look at our other how-to videos. Thank you.